Welcome back with Off the Wall with Coach Lance. Uh, we're going to be working on uh, the shape of the ball in the next video. But a few things I wanted to talk about the wall again. Um, the wall, here this line is supposed to represent the net, but this line is too low. This is actually the net level here. I just wanted to show you that. Now the target area I'll be hitting in will be two and a half feet above the net level. Now I have this tape up for the video camera to see, but when I work on the wall, all I need is this blue tape here and here. And that's all I need to have my target area. Now this is about a net higher than the net itself. So just add one net higher and that's gonna be your target area. Now we'll talk about the shape of the ball. We're talking about its trajectory or its path through the air. And when you're working on the wall, it's really important that you see what is the ball doing when it strikes your target. If your ball is still moving up when it strikes the target, that's a bad shot, it's going out. So your ball, because of the heavy top spin you're putting on it, all right, should be coming either horizontal to the wall like this, or maybe even coming down a little bit, okay? Again, the higher you hit on your target area, that's still in, as long as you're hitting enough top spin. So you gotta look at the shape of the ball as it comes in. Now again, when you're working on the wall, you wanna use good balls, new balls. So I'm whenever I'm working out, it's one can of new balls. Now here's the downside, here's the downside of people walking out on the court with a hopper of balls. To fill a hopper, you have to open up 30 cans. Well, that's a lot of money. And those balls will go dead in just a couple of weeks. And that's what I see. I see people with hoppers coming out, working on their game with very dead balls. And that's great for beginners. Beginners need dead balls. They don't bounce very high. They bounce slow. They're easy to keep in the court. But dead balls for advanced players is really bad. So that's the downside of using a hopper of balls. If you have to, well, do it. A much better way is just use one can against the wall. You get a great workout and you're working with new balls. You want that ball to bounce high. In fact, we all know the hardest ball to hit is the ball that's coming up on a rise, bouncing up fast at you. Okay, so taking that ball on the rise is the most difficult shot and you can only really do that with new balls. So that's why I wanna encourage you to always start your practice with. All right, that's good.